Hi, I am Apoorva Sheth and I welcome you to yet another insightful episode of The Right Choices with Oracles of Dalal Street. For almost one and a half years, we have been relentlessly producing episodes after episodes where we invite market experts with who share insightful and actionable strategies with you. So today we have one such guest with us who has been trading in the markets for more than seven to eight years. He is a college dropout, but market is one place which teaches you that it does not require a degree. If you are smart and capable enough, then you can make money from the mar markets irrespective of your degree. So he is an options trader and primarily sells options, straddles and strangles. And today we are going to learn how you can also with simple rules do straddles and strangle selling. So today we are going to learn that. So apart from markets, he also likes to read books and listen to music. So let's welcome Krish. Krish, welcome to our show. We are pleased to have you here. My pleasure. My pleasure, Apurva. So, Krish, uh, what's your journey like in the market so far? Uh, you know, uh, you have been into uh, option selling for quite a long time. Uh, you had entered the market when you were 23 years old. So, uh, that's a, quite a young age to, you know, start and uh, trade in market. So, did you uh, directly start with option selling or were you trading something else? Uh, first of all, let me introduce myself, Apurva. Uh, my name is Krish. Uh, people used to call me Krish. Uh, my full name is uh, Vamsi Krishna. And I entered into market in 2015 uh, as like a, a novice. Initially, I also done the option buying like uh, others will do. I lost so much of money in initial two years. And then I started learning the things. Initially, I learned the option buying as well. At that time, I was doing uh, professionally. That is also successful. But uh, when it comes to a point, I was unable to scale up my business with option buying. So that's where I realized the things and started learning things regarding the option selling and started implementing the strategies from 2019. And slow and steadily, it's keep on growing up. Till 2021, I was a, a discretionary option seller and I have been managing some accounts as well. Uh, from last year end, we are seeing uh, so much of volatility in market. I was unable to handling all those accounts through discretionary. If I'm uh, handling six to five accounts, I have to punch the all the orders manually, one on one, one on one. It's become a uh, difficult to me. So later on, I realized, boss, this is not going to work out. We have to do something for this issue. Then I started uh, exploring the things in algos, and basically, I was a positional trader at that point of time. Uh, you know, you are seeing a nowadays, nowadays you are seeing a lot of ups and downs in market overnight. We are unable to control those kind of a situation. Yeah. So eventually it leads to loss of a lot of losses. Then I started realizing this boss, this is not going to work out. You have to do something. Uh, it's not, if, if it is not in your control. So what I have done is I just started exploring the things, what I'm implementing in discretion. The same thing I changed to intraday as per my risk management. So now it's uh, going well. Uh, mainly I do focusedly uh, straddles and strangles only. Sometimes I do a different kind of a directional trades. It depends on the market condition. So that's what myself. Cool. So that's an interesting journey from uh, a complete novice to a discretionary trader to a algorithmic trader, rule-based algorithmic trader and mainly focusing into uh, option sell selling with straddles and strangle strategy. So that's what we are going to discuss today. I'm sure a lot of people want to learn about straddles and strangles, how they can sell and uh, how they can make money with it. So uh, let's jump straight into the session and uh, you have prepared a small uh, PowerPoint uh, presentation for us. So let's have a look at it. And I would also like to uh, recommend all our viewers to uh, watch this episode as well as the next episode so that in both the episodes you would get the complete system and you would also see a lot of examples in the next episode. So please watch out and uh, don't miss the next episode as well. So let's begin uh, Krish. Uh, Apurva, uh, the most common subject which uh, known for the option uh, traders in intraday, most of the option sellers will do these strangles and straddles. I love to trade the uh, strangles for the direction. 
I used to trade the straddles for non-directional. So what the strangle and straddle, basically we will uh, discuss that thing first, then we will jump into subject. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Now here, uh, have a look. The bank of T was trading around uh, currently, I think uh, 40,000, if I'm not wrong around hmm. 40,000. I'm choosing the next week strikes. So what I'm doing here is I'm selling 41,000 call and 39,100 put. So basically 1000 points away from the spot. So basically you are doing a strangle, short strangle. A yeah, short strangle only. Okay. So what's happened here is, let's take a uh, chart here, payoff chart here. When I sold the option on call side, I'm collecting 98 points premium. And then put option, I'm collecting 145 points premium. Eventually put together, it will be around 250 points premium. Hmm. So my winning probability is 70% and max profit is 61, uh, sorry, 6,100. It's captured to 6,100 mm -hmm. and my break even was 38,856 and break even on the upside was 41,244 mm -hmm. and estimated margin for this strategy, it will be around 1.5 lakhs. So net net, I will get 6,100. Mm -hmm. This is on a positional basis, which I have to carry this position until the expiry. Mm -hmm. But what we are doing here is we are doing for intra. Mm -hmm. So that thesis I will explain in next slide. Okay. So this is what the basic strangle, basic, basic strangle is. Even though if you are, you can do the strangle for 200 points, you can do the strangle for 500 points. There are some people, they can do this strangle for 2000 points as well. Yeah. I'm just giving the example of strangle. This is a short strangle. If you buy on both sides, that will become buying strangle. Hmm. That will become a long strangle. Yes. So this is what the strangle is. And when it comes to straddle, I will choose the straddle once again i am choosing the short straddle yeah selling short straddle hmm. now look at, have a look at here i am selling atm call option now the bank nifty was trading around 40100 it it was taking on futures the bank nifty was trading around 40100 then i sold 40100 call and i sold 40,100 put. Hmm. So put together premium is around 975 points. I collected 975 points premium. So maximum probability of winning was 54% and max profit will be 21,000. If the bank nifty expires at 41,000, sorry, 40,100 on the day of expiry, that much of profit I will get. Hmm. So initially in, in between market can jump up and down. There are a lot of uh, turbulent moves will come. Yeah. So we have to adjust all those kind of risks uh, in straddle, whether you are doing for a discretionary or you are doing for intraday. Hmm. So here a margin is a bit higher compared to straddle. It's uh, showing right now it was around 1.7 lakhs. The net credit will be around 22,000. My break even was 39,200 around. Upside break even was 40,000, uh, 41,000. Until the bank nifty stays within this range, I'm not going to make a net to net loss. I'm not talking about the notional loss. I'm talking about the net net loss. Hmm. So even though if we get a notional loss on a positional basis, eventually it will cover by the expiry. Hmm. Correct. So this is the basic strangle and straddle. So how I use this, these straddles and strangles in intraday that I'm going to explain. Sure. Now we came to the slide and I, I said, I use the strangle for a direction, straddle for non-direction. Let's take an example of uh, sideways market and uh, non-directional uh, market. We have two kinds of market. One is trending market, another one is bunny market. We all of know us. But when the bunny market will uh, come and when the directional market will come, that we all don't know. Okay. So for that, what we have to do is, I love to do trading strangles. I love to do uh, tra uh, trading straddles for the non-direction. Strangles for the direction. So when you are expecting that the markets will trend, you do strangles. So yeah. basically you are buying strangles. No, I am selling the strangles. I will tell you how to, how to do that. That okay. is, I, I will do with a, some kind of a fixed stop loss. Okay. That I will explain later part. 
Okay, so in both the cases, trend for directional or non-directional markets, you are selling strangles. You are basically selling options. Yes, I'm selling the options only. I'm not going to buy any options, whether it's buying options. Yes, I'm not going to buy any options, whether it's a trending market or it's a sideways market. I'm going to sell the options only. Okay. Okay. Yeah, reasons uh, why why strangle for direction? Why not straddle? That I will tell you. Okay. Reasons a strangle have a better edge than straddle for a direction, which I feel. I'll tell you why. The risk is less compared to straddle, hmm. as we all have, we already seen in chart. So uh, you get a wider range. Yes, put a wide wide wider range wider range as per your calculation. Hmm. Of course, returns also less when it compares to straddle. But consistency and probability of winning is very high when it is a trending market. Hmm. Because one side, what we will do is we will cut one position and we will run the other position when the market is trending. Okay. Okay. And only issue we will get in sideways market. Let's say I I, I said uh, we will put a stop loss of some 20-25% on both sides on the premium. In that scenario, what will happen if we place a SL? On 20 percent, market can easily hit out that stop loss if it is not a trending market. Hmm. That is the only issue we will get with the strangle in sideways market when we are playing with a fixed stop loss. There are some people they don't want to uh, give the small stop loss; they will give the wider stop loss. Of course, when you are giving a wider stop losses, uh, return also is going to be less. That I don't want to make. Okay. Okay. And. We are using the strangle for a direction and we are using the straddle for non-direction. So as we are using the strangle for a direction, what we will do with the straddle? We have to play for a non-directional with a wider stop loss because we are having a, a straddle like a, a parabolic curve, right? Hmm. So we will use the wider stop loss for that kind of a straddle in an intraday, not for the positional. I'm saying complete, it's only for intraday. So I am placing a wider stop loss. Let's say if I take this straddle, I will place a 50% SL on both sides. 50% means uh, I'll show you once again here. Yeah, look at here. I sold at 415. In that 415, I will place a 50% SL, which means it will come around 600 and 610, right? And on the downside of the put option also, if I'm selling the option at 461, I will keep a cal I will have a calculation of 50% at 460, uh, 460 plus 230, it will be around 690 rupees. That was my stop loss in intraday. Hmm. So what I'm making here is I'm taking the wider range. When the market moves in sideways, there I will get the better DK. Okay. Okay. The more here uh, we have an advantage, more the time waste, we will get the more money hmm. in startup. If the more the sideways it will be, more we will make the money. Fine. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you there are different kind of a strangle. This this part is uh, we have to explain. Uh, this different kind of strangles we have. There are n number of strangles with people can make, but there are different kind of a strangles. One range based strangles. Two weeks and range based strangles. Three premium based strangles. In the all these cases, my favorite one is premium based strangle because every day premium was not same at every strike price, right? Hmm. That's where people will get stuck. You know, here uh, we have made a strangle of two thousand points. Let's uh, reset this. Here, what I have done is. I took the 2000 points range for intraday 2000 points range with current expiry. I'm not going to get this much of premium. That's another kind of issue. So what I will do is I will choose the premium where the premium is available for me there. I will sell over there only. Okay. So I'm not making rune range based strangle. I'm not making wicks and range based. Strangle. There are some people what they will do. They will make a 400 or 500 points range strangles on both sides on bank nifty and they will keep on looking at the wicks and implied volatility to control the uh, risk management 
okay mm. and my favorite one is premium basic triangle that i will tell you how to do that okay and we have a combination of if we have a triangle and straddle let's take a combination of both straddle have higher risk and higher reward if it is in sideways market and strangle have lower risk and higher reward again when it is a trending market hmm. right if we are able to combine both in a proper way we will get ultimate results that what my subject is so i will make this strangle and i will make this straddle in intraday i will make simultaneously so let's take uh, when we have to implement the straddle the entry time the most uh, we uh, the 920 straddle become a very much famous in recent times the most of the people are making 920 straddles and they are complaining it's not working uh, properly so my case is completely different what i will do is i will sell the straddle at 970 i am not going to wait till 920 after opening of the market i will just wait for 2 two, uh, two minutes only i will make the straddle at 920 uh, sorry 917 am and i will sell the both atm call and put whatever the price it will be let's say bank nifty was trading around 40000 i will sell both 40000 call and 40000 put and i will keep a stop loss of 50% it's a general thesis but every uh, different kind of a days different kind of stop loss i have why that i will tell you okay but entry was at 917 and exit was at 256 before 3 pm i am not going to wait till 320 because after 3 3 o'clock bank nifty or nifty they they are making violent moves that i i was unable to digest mm. so before 3 pm only i am just getting out of my position whether it's a profit or loss and don't place any targets the people do this mistake they will play for a targets whether your profit uh, will, target will come or not that we don't know just leave everything to the market if it hits your stop loss take the sl okay. and just be in the game till 256 here we just have to do entry and exit nothing else only entry and exit and one uh, mistake don't do this mistake and don't do this straddle on friday because premium was very much high we are placing a 50% sl then the sl itself it will be 200 300 points friday will get a lot of premium hmm. even if you are placing a small kind of sl it will eventually it will hit that sl so friday was the not good day to implement the straddle so That's this is this is quite counter intuitive normally people would want ke the premium if you are selling options then the premiums should be higher so that you can yeah. make the most uh, money but in this case you are saying that uh, fridays since premiums are high the chances of uh, stop loss or the absolute value at risk will also be high so you avoid trading on friday so i'm 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 talking in a perspective of intraday trader right if you are a positional trader then it will be very good for a positional because you are getting a lot of premium hmm. but your time is uh, hardly restricted to 6 hours hmm. then you have to mitigate your risk if the risk is very much high and even uh, and one more thing you are not going to get a more premium in uh, in times of dk in friday then why you have to do the trading on friday and why you have to take that much of risk if you place 20 25% that's all easily it will get triggered okay and we are place if we are placing a 40 50% that's all that is going to give you a huge risk forget about the return hmm. so that i don't want to make okay so that's why i'm just avoiding this straddle for friday hmm. so and monday what i'm trying to do here i'm just placing a sl of 50% after exe- executing my order i'm just placing a sl of 50% and tuesday what i'm doing i'm putting some more another 10% addition to the sl 60% and when it comes to wednesday and thursday 70% why i'll tell you when you are selling option for 450 500 rupees in bank nifty on friday your risk is around 200 to 250 points when you are selling the same option on monday at opening the premium will be around uh, 300 to 350 hmm. in that case if you are taking 150 points sl the hardly sl will come to 150 to 170 points not more than that yeah. 
so risk has been mitigated compared to friday mm. so what i'm explaining here is uh, i am taking 50% sl on monday and i am increasing my sl on tuesday because the premiums will get reduced further mm. if you are selling in weekly on friday on uh, tuesdays we will get hardly 272 uh, 300 points on both sides of premium one side we will get 280 to 300 another side also we will get same kind of a number the put to combine together it's 550 to 600 in that scenario i am taking 60% sl which is nearly equal to the 150 points stop loss on an average i'm talking yeah and when it comes to wednesday and thursday the premiums are very much less that we all know hmm. in that scenario if you are keeping a 50% sl it will easily get triggered hmm. unless in some exceptional cases so better keep sl wednesday and thursday it will be around 70% okay understood this thing yes got it yeah and i explained straddle how to do the straddle 97 and 256 exit entry was at 917 stop loss at 50% on monday and 60% on tuesday wednesday thursday 70% and entry and exit only nothing else no need to do anything don't do the straddle on friday and when it comes to strangle so uh, krish before we go, move on to strangles i just wanted to ask you one thing ke uh, are there any other filters that you use to you know uh, get an edge or maybe time uh, your uh, trades pretty well like uh, some days there might be huge volatility so do you avoid selling or do you reduce your position sizing or are there any adjustments apart from these these rules that you have mentioned or uh, oh. you stick to whatever is written over here and do the exact same thing i will i will tell you in a simple way apurva if the wix is above 30 don't take any trades that is going to be in, uh, happened in only in some exceptional cases like a corona fall okay if wix is more than 30 don't trade that's my bad suggestion if wix is already moved beyond 25 just try to reduce your position that is the only way you can protect your cap hmm. till 25 you don't need to bother about market implement the same strategy in any other way it will give you the some kind of edge if wix and uh, till 25 if wix once closed above 30 if it is keep on moving around to that zones just try to avoid the trades okay. because premiums also less the uh, premiums also very high and risk is also very high hmm. volatility volatility overnight news uh, these thing happened that thing happened never ever look into all these things because your uh, psychology and system will get disturbed that i don't want to think as a system trader you need to stick with system so the india wix is the main filter that you look out for while selling off yes that is that is the only thing because it's a indicator for fear right hmm i'm i'm only looking at the fear indicator not even any other indicator i'm not even looking at the chart i'm just simply selling the options without looking at the chart i'm only looking at the price okay i hope you got yes then i will uh, explain the strangle part the hmm. strangle is very simple to do uh, in such a way but here i made uh, some kind of a uh, different kind of a things in strangle my entry point for the strangle was 935 because initially you will get a lot of premium at the open but i am not going to take that that advantage in strangle what i am making in strangle is i am making at 935 sell the premium i'm not choosing the strikes remember here i'm selling the premium whether it's in the money or it's out of the money i'm always looking at the premium where the premium is near to 200 on call side and put side both okay okay and exit time will be like same like a straddle at 256 we will exit so both individual legs you are looking at selling those let me, uh, let strikes me, let, 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 Let Where me, the let premium me, is two hundred points. Let me show you. Let me show you here. Let me show you here. Okay. Ah, uh, here. Ah, uh, this is the option chain, right? Mm. This is option chain. Ah, uh, what I am doing here is I will just uh, show you. This set. So here we have a put at available at thirty nine thousand three hundred, right? Yeah. The premium is near to two 
200 right yeah. i am selling this option hmm. one lot and we are having a premium of 40600 which is near to the 200 premium right hmm. this one call hmm. and i am adding both position okay in total you are making 400 or uh, roughly 400 uh, rupees uh, premium uh, around 400 whether it's sometimes it will be up sometimes it will be less i'm just uh, making a premium based standard okay so when it comes to the payoff chart it looks like this different kind of days we will get a different kind of strikes never ever look into the strikes just make and strangle the premium value around 400 okay okay done done yeah now so what are the premium which i collected what i will do is i will keep a 20% sl on collected premium that means uh total 80 rupees will be the stop 80 rupees premium will be 80 80, 80 rupees here i sold for 192 rupees i will calculate that 20% on that 192 rupees it will come around 38 39 rupees hmm. i will add to that that number to this premium and i will keep the stop loss hmm. okay hmm. and on the call side as well i will add another 40 uh, 20% premium to this leg and i will keep that stop loss in the system okay that's it and we completed the sl part and we will put the target of 85% on each leg that why i'll tell you why 80 85% why not 50% why not 40% if you take the friday trade and monday trade most of the cases we don't get the target we will just wait till 256 what are the profit or loss we will get that we will take right hmm. but why i am placing 85% target there are some cases in wednesday and thursday near to the expiry on those days if one kind of a trending move come on one side one side leg will eventually hit this target so you are hardly giving 20 point sl to the market and targeting 85 points target on the other side so friday and monday most of the cases you don't get the targets friday and monday hmm. tuesday also mostly you won't get but wednesday and uh, thursday on expiries 70 to 80 percent of the time if the trending move comes you will eventually get the target okay so let's say you if you have sold a, a, a particular call or a put for a premium of 200 rupees then 85% target of it would be around 60 rupees uh, uh, sorry 30, 30 rupees 30 rupees yes so that will be your target that will be my target the 30 rupees will get hit uh, in wednesdays and thursdays most of the time okay. but in friday and monday if there is any trending move option might go to until 100 rupees hmm. that uh, there we will get 50% uh, profit on one side on other side we will lose 20% net net 30% on the premium which is around 60 point 60 into 25 it will be around uh, 12 say 1500 per lot hmm. so that's all and one uh, thing we have to do here don't do the strategy on tuesday Okay. there is a reason for the tuesday historically also the tuesday was not uh, very good market most of the cases it will be in sideways uh, nowadays because of the pin nifty we are getting lot of volatility right yeah so that i that nonsense i don't want to make i am hardly taking uh, four days trades in strangles one is friday another one is uh, monday wednesday thursday wednesday thursday most of if we get a trending move we'll get it uh, we'll get the target and friday and monday even though if we get that trending move on one side we don't get the target but still we have to hold the position until 256 okay okay so for straddles you are avoiding trading on fridays and for strangles you are avoiding trading on tuesdays yes true this is clear yeah so i will just uh, show you the back tested result of straddle so that's all in this episode with krish in the next episode we will dive deeper into these strategies and look into the back test results so see you again next week